Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Talks with Profanis. In this video, we will learn what the export as is and how to use it. So, let's get started. At first, let's see an example of a use case that you might have already used. A use case where you have already used the export as and you might don't know it already. Think this use case that we have an input and we need also to have an error message. I will be like, this field is required. Let's apply a color, style the color to be red. And let's go to the browser to see what we have. This is it, just a field and also we have this message. We want this message, the error message, to be visible only if the input is invalid. So how can we do this? We have to use the ng model. So I will have here a banana in a box with an ng model, and I will define also a name equals name. Let's also declare this here of type string. And I want this field to be required. Okay. So how can we apply a condition? The pattern that we use is to define a template reference variable, and the name I will give is name field equals ng model. Now we can use this name field inside the i element and apply the condition name field dot invalid. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. Immediately we can see the error message, but if I type anything, the message disappears. If I delete this, the message appears, which means that the required validator is not happy, and for this reason we have to display this error message. But let's focus here a bit. This variable, the name field variable, refers to a component or directive with this exported name. Come again, this variable, the name field variable, refers to a component or directive with this exported name. But wait a minute, does this mean that the ng model directive exports itself with this name? Oh yeah, so let's go to the browser and specifically here, and what we can see this is the directive with the selector ng model, and here we can see the export as ng model. And indeed, it seems that the ng model exports itself with the same name, with the name ng model. So the export as exports the instance of the component or directive with the given name for use only in the template. Since we now know the theory and that we might have already used this, we can start using the export as in our use cases, in our components. Let's see another example. Well, what we can see here is that we have a card, the title is product name, we have this description, this is the product description, we have the card actions with the buy button, and here we have some meta information for this for this card, for this product. If we click the buy button, we can see here that we have a snack bar message, and also the button is disabled. What we're going to do is the following. We want to display this information, the meta info for the products, only when we click the button. How can we achieve this? Let's go back to the VS Code and to see what we have. Here we have a section product and a section details. Two sibling components. Let's go into the app product. And this is the template. We have the product name, the description, and here we can see the button. And on the click event, we have the by product as the event handler, which does the following. It turns the is button clicked to true. And also we have the snack bar. Okay, so let's close this and let's open the other component, which is the details. 
and this is here. And in the details component, the only thing that we have is just the paragraph tag with the meta info for the products and nothing in the source code. So how can we have a communication between those two? One option is to use the inputs and outputs. And specifically for this use case, we want to use the output. So let's follow this. Let's go to the product in the product component. And I want here to create an output. And I will name it is clicked equals new event emitter. And I will emit this event whenever we buy a product. This is click.emit. The next step is to the go to the app component HTML and use this event. It's clicked and do something. What can we do for this? One option is to use a method inside here. And another option is just to have a variable name. So let's do the second one. And I will name it is meta visible equals to false. Then we can be like on click, I want the is meta visible to turn true. And then we can apply a condition here. And if is meta visible. So if this is true, only then I want to display the details. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. We do not see the meta information here, but if we click the button, immediately we can see this. This is handy and this is very useful. But what we have done is that here we have an event, we have a variable, we set the variable value, and of course we have to declare this variable here. If your intention is only to use this information on the template and only on the template, then we can use the export as. How can we do this? Let's go again to the product. And inside here, into the component, I will type export as and I will define a name. And the common use case is to define the name similar to the selector. So this component is exported with the name app product. The same with the selector. Now let's go to the app component HTML. And I will define a variable name. This will be product equals to app product. I no longer need to have this clicked. But what I can do is define the condition in the end if by using the product dot is button clicked. Let's have them side by side. So what we're doing is here we define a variable name. And this variable, the template reference variable, will be used only in this template. And this name is this one, the app product. And we are saying the following, that I want to display this section only if the is button clicked, which is this one, will turn to true. So we do not need to have the output here and neither this. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. We do not see the meta information here, but when we click the buy button, immediately we can see this, the meta info for the products. So this is how we use the export as. Please note again that we use the export as when we intend to use the information only on the template. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.